for each pair of lines, determine whether they are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Now the easiest way to tell is to have your lines in slope-intercept form so you can easily identify the slope and the y-intercept. Parallel lines will have the same slope with different y-intercepts and perpendicular lines will have negative reciprocal slopes and they can have the same y-intercept because it's possible since uh, perpendicular lines they have a 90 degree angle they cross perfectly at a right angle so they could be crisscrossing on the y-axis at the same point so it is possible but it doesn't have to be they can have the same y-intercept and then if you don't have one of these two things then you just say it's neither one all right so first thing is putting it uh, your equations into slope intercept form if you don't already have that and here's the first example we have the pair uh, y equals 7x plus 2 and y equals 7x plus 3 well these two have the same slope of 7 and we notice that the y-intercepts are different here so this would be a set of parallel lines because they have the same slope and different y-intercepts let's look at another example we have y equals 7x plus 2 and y equals 7x plus 2. So notice again, we do have the same slope, but be careful to always remember to look at the y-intercepts. And since these have the same y-intercept and the same slope, they are not parallel. They are actually the same line, which means they're not parallel because parallel lines run side by side, which means they have the same rise over run, but they never touch. And if they were the same line, they would be touching everywhere. So the next example here shows y equals negative two over seven x minus four, and y equals positive seven halves x plus two. So they're certainly not parallel. They don't have the same slope, but are they perpendicular? Do they have slopes that if you took one and changed the sign and flipped it upside down, you would have the other? So notice that if I change this number to a positive and flip this, I will get positive 7 halves. So these are perpendicular lines. The next pair here, y equals 2 over 7x minus 4 and y equals 7 halves x plus 2. Well, they are reciprocals. The two slopes are reciprocals. If you flip one, you get the other, but they have the same sign. They're both positive. So this one is neither. They're not the same slope, so they're not parallel, and they're not perpendicular because their slopes don't have opposite signs. The next pair here, we have y equals 3 fourths x plus 2 and y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 2. Okay, so the first slope, positive 3 fourths, if we change the sign to negative and flip it upside down, we do get negative 4 thirds, which is the slope of the second line. So they are perpendicular. Also notice that the y-intercept here is 2 and also here 2. But that's not a problem for perpendicular lines. It would be a problem if we were talking about parallel lines, but this is okay. These are perpendicular, even though they have the same y-intercept. Just remember, parallel lines cannot have the same y-intercept.